In this video, I'm sharing with you everything I do to clear an eczema flare-up and get back on track. My name is Dr. Sarah and I'm a naturopathic doctor specializing in dermatology. I share videos here on my channel about skin health and my own eczema healing journey. It is now the winter time and that means colder temperatures and much drier air and less sunshine. So for most people with eczema, this can mean a flare-up or worsening of skin symptoms. And that is definitely happening for me right now. Um, I'm getting a little bit of flare-up of eczema on my hands. So I don't know if you can see what that right now looks like. So kind of just around my knuckles, I've been getting some dry skin and a little bit of cracking. Um, even on my like pinky finger there and kind of on this hand as well. Just some like flare-up of eczema and then also on my wrist. So I've been getting some eczema there. A little bit on that wrist, but not as much. That's the main spots is on my hands. A little bit on my arms sometimes, but nothing crazy. And actually, it hasn't been too itchy, but I've just been noticing that like dry skin from the air. So, which brings me to my first thing that I do to help with an eczema flare-up and that dry skin. And that is to moisturize and especially to moisturize more in the winter time and just in colder and drier climates. So, this is my um, homemade body butter moisturizer and I do have a video on my channel for the recipe if you want to check that out I'll link it in the description box below. Mm, smells really good so I'm just going to use a little bit of this moisturizer on my hands right now since I haven't done that and in the winter time I do usually moisturize twice in one day. The summertime a lot of times I can go even a day without moisturizing or I'll just do it once or I'll just moisturize my hands as needed. Um, but the winter time, so I typically moisturize once in the morning, like when I'm getting ready and dressed for the day, and then also I'll moisturize in the evenings because I usually take a shower or a bath in the evenings. And the best time to moisturize your skin for eczema is definitely right after showering or bathing. And this is because you wanna lock in that extra moisture from um, your shower or bath into your skin. So using a moisturizer like this that has ingredients like shea butter, sunflower seed oil, um, beeswax, these are all occlusives. And also, I also have some humectant ingredients in here as well. And those sort of ingredients are going to kind of create a barrier on your skin. It's going to first lock in that moisture from the shower and it's going to, pre going to prevent water from leaving your skin into the drier air so it's going to prevent that trans epidermal water loss that we see in the winter time um, so moisturizing is really important it's going to help with the dryness it's also going to help with itchiness so it's going to kind of help stop that itch scratch cycle that we see with eczema so one of the main reasons for itchiness is because your skin is dry so if you have dry skin it makes your skin more itchy so then you itch it and then you scratch it but then that makes your skin worse and it makes you want to scratch it even more so it's kind of like this vicious cycle so using a body butter or a moisturizer is going to really help with that i also have a video on some moisturizers that i recommend for eczema so you can check that out and i'll link it in the description box down below but whatever's going to work for you i used to use the jason vitamin e moisturizer with a high dose of vitamin e in it and it worked well for my skin for many years but i've just switched to making my own and i just prefer something in the, for the winter specifically especially th that's thicker and more oil-based um, that's really going to lock in the moisture in my skin and I also add different herbs in there too to help with the itchiness and inflammation and all that. So that's the first thing. Now the next thing that is huge and I can't stress it enough is diet. So diet is so important for your skin especially for eczema, for acne, psoriasis, and seborrheic dermatitis. I've also noticed so I do have a history of seborrheic dermatitis on my scalp and that has also gotten a little bit worse this winter. It's just a little bit more flakiness and itchiness and just you kind of just feel that discomfort in your scalp or your skin. So a huge thing for me right now is um, cleaning up my diet. So right now I have been consuming a little bit too much sugar. Sugar is 
inflammatory for anybody. It's not good for anyone's skin or health, but for me specifically, it really flares up my eczema and the more sugar you have, the more you want. And it's just something that I've kind of gotten the habit of having a little bit too much sugar or sweets in the evenings after dinner or sometimes as a little afternoon snack and I just need to get out of the habit of that. So today I'm gonna show also what I'm eating as well as some more tips throughout the video. So one of the big things is really just not consuming sugar or sweets, even like baked goods or sweets that are made with unrefined sugars like coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey, agave. Those are definitely better than refined sugar, but they are still, you still wanna do those in moderation. So for me, I'm just cutting them all out today. And the other thing too I want to mention, so in this video, it's really like a jump start to like the week to the month of getting back on track. I'm not going to like hear my eczema flare up in one day, but these tips are going to be something that's going to like kind of get the ball rolling to like motivate me throughout the week. And then, you know, in a couple of days in a week, it's going to help clear up the skin, but it's still going to help some today and it's going to make me feel better and my skin feel better. So... The next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting my day with some bone broth that I made. So I like drinking bone broth because it's a great reset for your gut health and a lot of your skin health is dependent on your gut health. So it definitely plays a part for me if I'm having a little bit worse gut health, my skin health symptoms are going to kind of start to get a little worse too. So. Bone broth is great for the gut health. It has a lot of amino acids like glutamine, glycine. It's also an excellent source of collagen and those are going to help with repairing your gut lining and they're also going to help repair the skin as well with that collagen. Bone broth is also high in nutrients and minerals such as calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, silicon, and sulfur. Okay, I have my bone broth here. So I'm just going to start my day with some bone broth. Mmm, it's so good when you make your own homemade bone broth. Oh, it's a little bit spicy. I put some, well, I put some black pepper in there and I put some red pepper flakes as well. Bone broth is just so warming and so cozy. Okay, I'm going to enjoy my bone broth and then I will share my next tip very soon. Okay, I'm almost done with my bone broth here. I did want to make a note too, so another thing, I don't get a lot of eczema on my face, but I do get a little bit from time to time, especially in the winter time, and like I said, if I'm eating a lot of sugar and not doing all the things I know to help with my skin. And so I don't have any makeup on right now, and I've got a little bit of kind of like redness in my forehead and just like dry skin, and so a big thing for me is not doing makeup. Even though I use pretty natural um, and clean makeup products, they do kind of make my skin a little worse if I'm having an eczema flare up and they do kind of dry it out. So I definitely like doing as many makeup free days as possible. Of course you can be makeup free every day, but when I go into work and when I go into clinic, I like to wear a little bit of makeup um, from time to time. So that's one thing. I don't have any makeup on right now. This is what my skin looks like. So yeah. Let's get into my next tip now. So my next tip that I like to do is oil pulling. So I grab my coconut oil from the cupboard and I use just a spoonful of this oil pulling with coconut oil is it actually really supports your oral microbiome and your mouth is the first part of your digestive system. So your oral microbiome is very important just like your gut microbiome and sorry the lighting's kind of weird in here this i do more for my oral health but i feel like it just it's one of those little things that it's it's one of my healthcare practices that i do and i also when i do my oil pulling i do it for 15 or 20 minutes kind of depending on how much time i have in the morning and then i like to do any sort of like tidying up that i didn't get to the night before so that is what we're gonna do now the one bummer part about it in the winter time is that your coconut oil does get really hard. That's kind of a bummer. You can find fractionated coconut oil, so that is going to be coconut oil that will be liquid at room temp, even in the winter time. If you've done it a little bit like me, you can kind of handle it. So, 
I use about that much. The next step for me getting back on track with my skin health and my routine is exercise. So for me, that is running. I've definitely been into running more. Um, the winter time, I probably do a little less running because it is so cold and I like to switch it up and do hot yoga or just a workout in the gym and then a sauna session. Um, but exercise is definitely something that helps me get back on track. When I'm exercising, that's motivating me to keep eating healthy. I want to eat less sugar, have less alcohol because I want to feel good when I'm exercising or when I'm running. So I know that's something that is helping me and overall helps, helps your skin health. It's also going to help improve sleep and all that. So let's do a quick morning run. Okay, I just finished my run. I just ran three miles and now I'm gonna be making my lunch. So I'm gonna be doing a green salad with chicken and I have some leftover chicken warming up in the little toaster oven. So I'm gonna prepare the greens and the veggies. So I just made a green salad for lunch now. It has just a bunch of greens, um, carrot, red onion, sauerkraut, and some leftover organic chicken. And then I topped it with some Toby's Ranch dressing. Normally I would definitely add avocado in here, but sadly my avocados are not ripe. Overall for my salads, I like to keep them pretty balanced with carbs healthy fats and protein. If you do too many like raw vegetables and greens for some people such as myself, that can be a little tough on the digestion and GI tract. So I like to balance it with a healthy source of protein and fats and fermented food like the sauerkraut that's gonna add healthy probiotics, um, which you need for a healthy gut microbiome, which also helps your skin. And let's give this a taste. Okay, I've got a big old bite there. Mmm, so good. The chicken and sauerkraut combo with the ranch is just so good.
The other thing I do when I have like my first meal or second meal of the day, I like to have my supplements. So currently I am taking a vitamin D supplement, which is important during the winter time if you don't get a lot of sun exposure and if you have low vitamin D levels from a recent blood test. So I got my blood test done in the summer and my vitamin D was pretty low. And so I've just been supplementing on days where I'm not getting sun and now I've been kind of increasing it a little bit in the winter time. Vitamin D is really important for your immune system. It's also anti-inflammatory and helps with autoimmune related conditions such as eczema or psoriasis. Also you wanna be taking vitamin D with food because it is fat soluble. And I also take my cod liver oil. Sometimes I'll add my vitamin D to my cod liver oil. And that I'm taking just for healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Sometimes I'll just take fish oil, but right now I'm doing cod liver oil. And then I also take a probiotic supplement as well. And I think that's it for my supplements. So definitely getting back on track is getting regular with my supplements. I'm not always super regular. I just don't like taking pills and I'd rather try to get all those nutrients from my food. But sometimes the body needs a little extra boost, and so if I'm in kind of in a little bit of a flare-up, I'll try to just really be consistent with taking my supplements. Of course, the other thing I'm really doing is focusing on hydration. So I have my 40-ounce water bottle here. I've been taking a lot of water um, in the morning before working out or exercising as well as after. It's also really important for your skin health in the wintertime because it is so dry and you're losing that water, transepidermal water loss from your skin. So rehydrating from the inside out is important and making sure you're just getting enough water, enough clean, pure, and like filtered water. So I'm also going to be taking some electrolytes a little bit later and I'll show you those and that's another way to um, boost your hydration. Okay, I've just made a cup of coffee and I'm using Four Sigmatics Balance Coffee. It's their half caffeinated coffee blend with mushrooms. It's with ashwagandha and erythro adaptogens. So it's their de-stress and energy blend. Um, I like this because it's much less caffeine than like regular coffee. It has the added benefits of different mushrooms and herbs. It also has chaga extract and tulsi extract. So good. I do have um, a link in my description if you want to try out the Four Sigmatic coffee, but um, I really noticed it makes me a lot less jittery than regular coffee does and it just kind of yeah helps me feel good. And then of course you saw me add my collagen peptides. I love adding this to my coffee. It just helps with my hair, skin, and joints as well. I've noticed a big difference actually with my running since adding this into my diet. So a lot of times when I have a cup of coffee in the morning or like early afternoon, I'll be tempted to like snack on something with it. And usually it's something like uh, something sweet, whether it's like a piece of chocolate or some sort of protein bar or square bar. And I'm not doing that today. One, because I'm pretty full. And two, I just don't need that. I just want a little coffee pick me up, something warm, and just to get some things done throughout the rest of the day here. So yeah, I'm not doing any sugar. I'm staying strong with that. And it's one of those things where if you are finding yourself craving sugar, especially this time of year with all the holiday parties and friends and family gatherings, check in with yourself and be like, do I really need that sugar? No. Do you want it? Maybe. Do you crave it? Sure. But it's not something that your body like physically needs like the nutrients from or lack of nutrients really. So yeah, maybe you are feeling stressed or overwhelmed or tired and so your your body needs something else for comfort really whether that's doing some breathing exercises going for a walk journaling reading taking a bath whatever it might be but we don't actually need sugar so 
that is my little tip with sugar. And, and another thing that really helps me kind of reset and get back on track with my skin health is managing my stress levels. Oftentimes when I get really stressed, then that's kind of when I feel like I have less time to do all the things to take care of myself and take care of my skin, like eating healthy meals, getting outside, exercising, getting enough sleep. When you're stressed, that's when you need those things the most. So it's kind of hard, but you gotta like refocus and re get back into it. So for me, it's just checking in with myself. Okay, if, if my skin is flaring up um, because I'm not eating as good and I'm more stressed and I'm not getting enough sleep, I like to check in and be like, okay, what do I need? right now to feel okay to feel good and to focus on my self-care and skin health so i'll do different meditations where i'm just focusing on my breathing i'll do some skin meditations sometimes i'll listen to my own even i'll do different meditations where i can really like connect with my breath connect with myself and my skin and that helps also doing like journaling. So anything like that, that is important for getting back on track with things, back with my mental health and checking in. Later tonight, I'm just going to talk about now, but later tonight I'm going to go to the gym and do a sauna session with my sister. I might do a little bit of stretching. That's kind of therapeutic as well, just again with the breathing. And I like doing sauna as like a reset and a detox. You're just sweating all the toxins out taking a nice shower afterwards. So I also definitely take my electrolytes. So I use Element electrolytes. They taste so good. There's no added sugar. They're just stevia sweetened. All their flavors taste amazing. So I bring one of those in with me with the sauna and I do a whole packet in 32 ounces of water. So these have just been some tips to kind of get back on track with healthy eating, get back on track with what I know to help my skin feel better, especially in the winter time. I know I need to be taking like extra steps and extra care just because your skin needs a little bit more TLC. I would say the main thing really is getting back for me right now, getting back on track with diet, not doing sugars or sweets or anything like that so i'll check in, in one more time later tonight to see how that's going but i did just want to kind of sign off here and say thanks so much for watching if you found any motivation or inspiration then please give this video a like and then i'll know to make more videos like this okay thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next video Good morning it is now the next day and i thought i'd do just a quick check-in from yesterday so yesterday i was successful and i didn't have any sweets or sugar after dinner or throughout the day and i definitely notice a difference my skin is feeling a lot better today even just with one day and yeah, so it felt really good to kind of get back on track, even with those um, things that I did yesterday. They might seem kind of simple, but they do actually make a difference. And right now I've just made my breakfast. So I have um, an egg with some chicken sausage and sauerkraut. We'll see you in the next video.